Hello guys, I'm back for another video where I'm going to uh, basically creating a whole gang war just because I have the mood for it. So yeah, let's go. Two bit hit. And it's quite curious. I mean, I'm quite curious who driving this vehicle because I didn't see any driver. Hell, was it made by Tesla? And, you might learn and now, yeah, Love wasn't capable to say anything go because he's just a student at this point. I love how he just writing stuff on his hand. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Wait, is this raining inside of the vehicle? It makes sense. I mean, these are cutscene models and they don't have any collision, I guess. But it still looks pretty silly. And I have reasons why I'm not taking this um, copter with mine, a chopper with, of mine. Uh, there's another, well, I'm not saying glitch, but rather a trick to make this mission a bit easy. So I just need to assassinate the new leader of the Haitian gang, who's in this funeral. And, well, I need to be noticed as some kind of Cuban member, so in exchange the war could happen, because they could claim that the Cubans caused this gang war by assassinating the new boss of the Haitian gang and it benefits Avery for using the destroyed area what these gangs caused to build his own uh, properties there properties yes it is it's basically the same thing what Donald Love will do at the time of GTA 3 so yeah, he's learning from his master, despite he really don't show any respect towards him, because, you know, it's business, it's not about respect, but how you can sell product. But it doesn't matter how morally correct it was, or not. Alright, we have Tommy Versetti, the Cuban king. And what I find weird is that why are these Cubans have this Japanese flag on it with that um, well I don't know man Mandarin character and these guys already attacking me because of my outfit I guess but, uh, but really why do Cubans have this outfit I mean it really doesn't resembles them in my book they looked a bit more accurate in Vice City stories because well yeah they were they, there was poverty in the game but they looked like kind of like Cubans because they were wearing shirts but it, they look generally talks but now it just a bit out of their appearance I guess I never understand this outfit that's what I'm ranting about or yapping Okay, that's all about this mission. So it's time for me to run away from the anger of the Haitian. And next time I'll meet Cor Colonel Cortez. Because he also wants to make some deal with us. Which I don't mind. Yeah, who is this? Same Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that prick? You kill Leo? You must have big cojones. Wanna work for me? Come by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. Sure, no problem, Umberto Robina. I mean, in the... There were some other voice lines for 
Danny Trejo. Basically, he introduced himself as Umberto Robino, and he really wants to find somebody. He really wanted to find somebody to work with him, work for him for taking over the Haitian territories, technically. Maybe for some beta voice line or just some concept. If um, Umberto Robina didn't find it weird that Leo's phone has been taken. But whatever, it's not that time to think about that. I mean, I'm not a beta content examinator, examinizer guy, but I always brought this beta stuff up. I'm sure if I'm making a Half-Life 2 playthrough, I wouldn't stop talking about that version which nobody played or just saw the E3 trailer. And those short videos and screenshots convinced them that the video is already better than the final product. But yeah, it's just interesting what, will, what could have been. After all, well, I'm here. So what's the issue? Sorry, yes, sir. I would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm never thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could probably wow. have time to run more errands, Cortez. Yep. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. Once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then I love how the cutscene really didn't focus on um, Cortez and his ideal, his ideas, have to achieve this goal of his. By you know just um, stealing this beautiful big hardware he was talking about and hearing the rest of his plans, but no, the cutscene just don't invite him to explain his motivation and stuff. I mean, it's like the cutscene skipped himself. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. The whole game is taking place in Tommy's perspective, so no wonder why it ended so soon. Um, that mission is not important for Tommy and uh, barely amount of information he got from about Diaz it's not so satisfying to him so he feels kind of um, exploited and used by this Cortez as well and yes you can wait this guy to stop at the um, donut shop but I'm not in the mood so it's better if I just shoot him down come on move see you guys later all right I got to use the super famous tank glitch that everybody loves come on let's go <laughs> I mean, it's not a donut shop, but a coffee shop. One of the places that Victor could get inside and either defending it, protecting it um, from former, not, not former, but rival gangs, or just go inside and break stuff up to taking it away. But yeah, I mean, Tommy could um, rob that place as well. But I did that. Or the guy who actually made this safe file just downloaded and I forgot about it because when I made um, my save files for the, the Death Edition, I had to do everything by myself and I just, I don't know, forget stuff and switching my memories with things that I did or not. Like if I'm suffering from dementia or stuff. But no, I'm just losing on focus, you know, ADHD stuff. But now, um, I think I need to pick up my phone because somebody's going to call me. Alright, I guess our friend Ken Paul had some kind of information that he wants to share with us and 
it could be good or bad, but it's a mission anyway. I'm sure if that mission um, or call happened in 4, then I wouldn't do anything in free ROM, but the game will count it as some kind of phone mission. Uh, just like when Ray calls up, calling up um, Nico, claiming that he found somebody who is. No, who knows about Florian and his location? You know, guys, what I'm I talking about. It's just one example of in GT4 where one phone call actually started a mission, and it's kind of unexpected, especially if somebody was trying to save his game, but couldn't do that because of that certain um, checkpoint, if I can say that. So yeah, let's get inside and, and hear him. What he could Once. share with us. I'm gonna save your beer, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that Wanker D is the bugle master. Yeah. He's got your boy Lance. Word is Lance. Tried to jump. You didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Oh. Oh, hell. In plain right. English. Keep your barn it on. You're going across town to the junkyard. The junkyard, that's one done. <laughs> is that what you say? Bloody hell. You nutter. <laughs> you nutter. Jeez, I want to learn this um, British accent. <laughs> and expressions what this guy has it's just so strong and bizarre <laughs> it's truly make him a character after all and i just noticed how beautiful the shining of this car is in that um, ps2 mod i mean what if i turn this filter off and not in this menu trails i don't know i mean the funny thing about this PS2 mod is that um, it actually changes some of the um, color tones of the cars. For example, in I mean, I have this PS2 mod on GTA 3 as well, and some cars have different painted jobs. I mean, it's the same color but in a different text with a different texture on it or paint job on it. It it hurts that because. I don't know the category of that certain paint job, but it's like in Most Wanted, which is looks kind of shiny, but in exchange, um, you can s you could you you barely could see the um, stickers and livery on it. So um yeah, let's head back to this old <laughs> motion blurish appearance with this orange filter and try to enjoy this game. What is this mission? Come on! I guess something went wrong if Lance had been captured by Diaz's men. Oh god! And I'm about to die, I guess, at this point. And I want to pick up all the money because this is basically the payment for this job. What the hell are you doing? Alright. I can't aim up right there. That's why I prefer the revolver. It's a one shot kill. Take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. So you wanted to Diaz take down this trees. guy by himself, oh, despite yeah. how armed his guards are, and he's surrounded by them. I mean, you're kind of naive, no matter uh, how many experience you got with your brother two years ago. I mean, they truly lost lost their power. By the time Tommy arrived to this city. Come on. Back to this green saber. What? Sentinel. I just hope that Sweet or CJ won't hear about this. So I now I just need to take him to the hospital. And I wonder if I can be chased by Diaz's men because they are driving comets. Or Porsche 911, 
uh, I don't know, 1980s version. Nope, I think we're alone. And I'm not sure if the traffic will spawn because in this mission it doesn't happening. Same for that um, third um, every character mission. The traffic just disappeared for this funeral. But yeah, it's safe. I thought this mission will be a bit more intense, but yeah, I'm slightly disappointed. At least it's more common and safer, but I still don't have the drive. Have a good one. I'm sure if this mission was in San Andreas, I will get a respect point for this. Yeah, who is this? I think this f comment on the French was also cutted out from the definitive edition. He said there that I really need you, alright, and that's all. And yes, I'm nitpicking everything that I remember and I know it wasn't in the definitive edition because I'm stuck in 2021. So um, yeah, deal with it. <laughs> but anyway, this is the last mission of this um, video. And yeah, I had a great time with this game, despite I don't feel any nostalgic feelings to it, because that's how much I often play that game instead of San Andreas, which still amazes me. Okay, here we are. Last mission, let's go, let's roll of this video. I mean, why do I keep reminding me of this? I got us some cannons in the trunk. Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. It's kind of odd that this last mission was the first time for Tommy to actually explore downtown in the lore. I think in my eye. I mean, before that, every mission was taking place either in Little Haiti or Havana. At least in, on the other island. And I'm going to complete this mission in the most... Um, in the least worthy way. Which is going to be completely awful, if you guys know what I mean. Yup, that's what I'm gonna do. Come on, kill him! Why is uh, shooting him so slow? I mean, aren't you about to avenge your brother? And yeah, this is not the worthy way to end this mission. I mean, we just glitch ourselves into this house instead of just get around it. It looks so awful and yeah. I feel slightly guilty about this. My beautiful house! Look what you've done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <coughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! We've done it. Well, at least... Vic Vance is finally avenged and we have this beautiful house of ours but for now I think it's better if I save the game and continue it later and hell this whole office of ours looks literally like from if it was brought from Scarface especially with these uh, camera TVs I mean damn I love this place so um yeah um we reached the top and we're taking a phone call Why 
Cool. Alright guys, see you guys later and we're going to expand our empire.